Hey, Pups Nerdy Corgi here. So we've got a new audio balance, this, that, and the other. Hopefully you'll be able to hear some uh, gameplay this time. Oh, man, oh, man. We're going to continue from where we left off and uh, see what that does. Oh, I remember now. We're on a weird central island looking around. Um, more cameras, more monitors, only now, this time. Um, Sir Tubzalaz is here. What do you at? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. That's me making a joke that he's fat. Hey. Ah, Byak, Byakuya. Yeah. <laughs> have, have time for a small introduction? Introduction? Come on, Hajime. And, um, oh. Uh, hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. No? Alright, Byakuya Togami. Ultimate Affluent Progeny? Progeny. I'm done, that's it. I'm done, that's it, right? Back off. I, I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations and has his net worth, or sorry, and his net worth is, well, enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. He's the epitome of rich. There's, it's not super exceptional. You there, Hajime, was it? Huh? Tell me, why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, well, you see, the thing is, I can come once and then immediately, it, uh, all right. I honestly can't remember. You don't, you don't remember? Uh, apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. I... I must... I must have really lost my memory because I don't remember ever establishing that we lost our memory. Hmm. <laughs> How foolish losing your fucking memory like that. You, you, what kind of idiot does that? I mean, you had all the choice in the world. I do believe we've finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Move along. Uh, that's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just leave this fat ass. Yeah, you sure? His build and that overwhelming power of order and refinement just pushes people away. Is that what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? No, it means being rich and spoiled and entitled. All right, show. Another surveillance camera. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. R. Leave here? Yes, please. Enter. Alright, Central Island. Here we go. Oh, uh... No? What was it? Tab? F1? Oh, thank God I remembered that. Pet. Okay. I haven't checked out the pet yet. Oh, it's an adorable little bunny that crawls like a human baby. Jesus Christ, why? Uh, clean. That didn't do anything. Presents. I don't have any presents for you. But my god, are there a lot of presents. Alright, we're halfway down the list and we're at 67, so we're just gonna... Exit back to this. All right, well, have fun with all of that. Island three, we don't have access to. Come on, run, run faster. Run like your life depends on it. It may, Lord only knows with this game. All right. Island 5 is much the same as 4, 3, and 2. You just can't get to them yet. Oh, good. A desert? Alright. You know, if, uh, 
Japanese games have taught me anything, it's that the Japanese have no sense of what an island looks like. Alright. Upwards. Inwards? Upwards? Onwards? Roundwards? I'm pressing space, pressing enter, pressing W, pressing R. Clicking. Clicking. That's the one. First island. Alright, so we're back to where we were. You know, I've run to the right enough. Let's run to the left. I, s pretend I said that right. Oh, good. A military... Uh, an airport, it says. All right. Welcome to paradise. The planes seem pointless given that we teleported here. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... That's right. Boats. Airplanes? I've never seen airplanes before. Couldn't we just use those planes to escape this island? Oh yeah, a bunch of high school kids. How, how many of you have anything more than Microsoft Flight Simulator experience? Raise your fucking hands. Oh Jesus, Jabberjaw, you gotta be careful. You're gonna lose your tongue that way. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could just fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Hold on, there's a lot of shit wrong with what you just said. Number one, how do you know how to fix airplanes? Number two, what? Just for show? The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Yeah, as in they were taken completely out. There's no engine in them. The engine has been removed. It's been taken to some place that's not the plane. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, have we? Nice to meet you too, Jabbajaw. Ultimate mechanic. Everybody strap in. We're in for five full minutes of explaining how this guy's the ultimate mechanic. As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, um, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix the plane, it's truly beyond repair. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't um, that seem pretty strange to you? Yeah, it's pretty strange, but uh, I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? You have a very weird... You know, fuck it. Everything's weird. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. I mean, you have already, like, stripped down an airplane to find the missing engine, so I fucking don't know. I'd say this is all pretty dangerous. That was mentioned in the safety pre uh, precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Oh, that thing I haven't read. Oh, good. Rule number one, extreme violence is prohibited on this island. So specifically this island. Please live peacefully, or please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Rule number two, be considerate of each other and work to obtain hope fragments. Rule number three, littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with the island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. Rule number four, the lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a, another rule. Looks like we're being kept safe, so wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Yeah, you know, I remember back when I was in high school, we were teleported to mysterious islands and unsupervised and encouraged to split up and disassemble airplanes. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier. All right. It seems like these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? Don't be such a pessimist. That's my superpower, though. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope. Uh-oh, I'm shitting out another hope fragment. Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. Well, I guess it's okay if, um... We just enjoy our vacation and see this whole th 
see how this whole thing plays out. <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. Uh, what? My character says, and I quote, I'm actually pretty jealous of how carefree he's being right now, but I'm going to tell you this much right now. He's having some real fucking pervy thoughts about a one and a half foot tall stuffed animal. I'm not super jelly. I obtained a hope fragment. Who fucking ra? Luggage carousel. I'm waiting on like a clue to come by. Another surveillance camera. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the time. It's not a good feeling. All right. Airplanes. To go so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Yet another monitor. Just as I thought, a blank screen. All right. Oh, I can't go any further that way. That's its way of telling me. All right. I just got called a fiend. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Uh, what's your fucking deal? I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What? Would you like to know my name? I... No. Is it Yu-Gi-Oh? Others may see your courage as reckless. However, I welcome it. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it for as long as you live. You know you're in high school, right? Most of these kids got out of that whole Chinbiun thing in, like, the eighth grade. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. God, I hope that picked up on the capture. Is your name really Gundam? Ultimate Breeder? Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> Ru Let me ask. Whose master are you? Um, I mean, boy band follows me around. Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me. What the fuck do you mean pact? What the fuck do you mean tribe? What the fuck do you mean witch? Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Wow, you are really selling this shit. Then it's best if I don't answer. I think he's asking if he used to have a pet. How? I wish I had face cam right now because I think I just pulled a muscle fucking raising my eyebrows so fucking hard. How would you have gleaned that? What fucking possible context clue would have led you to be like, ah, oh, yes, obviously, by tribes, he means pets. No, the only animal I've ever taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. So, a mere insect. Your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash! Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. So when they said ultimate breeder, this had nothing to do with loose high school girls. This had everything to do with the fact that this man is literally infested with hamsters. <laughs> okay. Is there something strange came out of your scarf? No, something strange came out of his everything. Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. I wouldn't call your little assholes there evil, although they will fucking cannibalize each other. I found that out rel relatively recently. My god. Um, it's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of ultimate breeder. No, he definitely doesn't. 
one of my four dark divans of destruction. Oh, divas. Wow, I can't fucking read. Jesus Christ. One of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage Goldenhawk, Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. Fwahaha. It three of his four hamsters are laughing with him. The other one can't be bothered to wake up. Apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I mean, all of the hard work is being done by the hamsters, so... I don't know how you thrive in that setting. I've heard he can tame any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters in their own scarf. I'm fucking Audi. Yes. Yes. Leave. <sighs> Alright, pups, we... We've gone on for 16 and a half minutes, so... I'll just... I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what the fuck anything is.